Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. Hello. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Thank you very much for coming back. It is time for your January 2023 bonus reading for the month of who may be coming your way this month. We've made it through a full moon in Cancer at the beginning of the month, so now we're heading into Aquarius energy. The sun is getting ready to go into Aquarius. The moon, the new moon, will also be in Aquarius. So it is time to set your UFOs coordination right out there so that you can transmit that energy and start some new manifestations. Aquarius gets it. Everybody exhibits a little bit of the energy of whatever sign the sun is currently in. So as we finish up Capricorn season and head into Aquarius season, we're going to take a look at who might be coming in for you, Gemini. We are going to use the Penumbra deck to, uh, to pull a couple signs, see who those people may be. And we'll use the Monday's deck for a couple of clarifiers. I appreciate you very much for being here. We're going to just have a little fun for a minute and see who's coming your way, Gemini. All right. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do all that fun, awesome YouTube stuff, and I would love you for life. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you may free will do so. Shoot me an email at archerastrology at gmail.com, and we will take it from there. And this will resonate with any and all Gemini placements. We are FHA compliant at Archer Astrology and will read to any placement that qualifies and desires a reading with moi. All right, let's do it to it, Gemini. Let's see what is coming your way. Who is coming your way? This could be a past person returning. This could be a brand new person that you just recently met or somebody that's uh, going a little further, going from friends to uh, the next step or somebody who hasn't even shown up in your life. We're going to check it out. Here we go, Gemini. All right, let's do it. Two shuffles for who is coming in for Gemini. One and two. All right, let's go for Gemini. Love you guys. Here we go. <clears throat> so the bottom of the deck, these people are coming in this way. They are coming in as a knight of swords. Your energy with a little Libra and Aquarius on the side. That these people, literally your card choice, the lovers, these people made a choice to come in with you and they are really not thinking about it no more. This is dive bombing in with some shit to say. So let's check it out. We've got the, ooh, the Queen of Pentacles shows up. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel, I feel Capricorn. I feel straight up Capricorn. And we've got Two of Cups, Cancer Energy, cute, little Pisces as well, but it is a Cancer card. But you got two fish on there. It's Minor Arcana Gemini. Then you've got the Fool. Ooh, Aries Energy wanting to jump out and like take a beginning. Somebody, as there's an Aries in your life that's wanting to take a roll of the dice with you. We've got the Hanged Man. Pisces Energy shows up. There's a Pisces thinking about you. And we've got Justice, straight up Libra. Fellow air sign coming in because you complete them. Whoa. Okay. It's the bottom of the deck's at Knight of Swords. A lot of air, so you are a big focal point right now this month, Gemini. You've got this, I'm still saying Capricorn. I want to think Taurus, but check this out. Either way, either, air, either way where we're going with this earth sign, this grounded, stable offer that's coming your way from this earth sign. Look at what, look at how in the Penumbra deck, those two trees in the background behind her actually kind of look like Gemini's symbol, does it not? Maybe there is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's had their eyes on you for a minute. I see this as somebody that you have not really had a connection with. And you know what? I just noticed she has a nose ring. I have not seen that as much as I've checked these, this deck out since I got it. I have not noticed that. I'm flipping it to Taurus. You got a Taurus looking at you, Gemini. And they've been, you guys have a connection of some kind. It might not have been a relationship that made it all the way into an actual relationship, but it kind of like maybe stuttered out and, and kind of stalemated or came to a draw. Um, they didn't stop checking you out because she is looking towards those trees that look like a Gemini symbol. So I see a Torian that wants to come at you with a very stable offer. They've taken some time to really get into their own energy in order to come correct. Because Tauruses do come correct. All right. We'll pull some clarifiers in a minute to check that out. Meanwhile, we got this Cancer to a Cups card. So you've got a crab that you make happy or that thinks of you in a happy way that wants to do something a little small offer. It's not quite an Ace of Cups, 
but it is actually an equal offer that I see. So this here I see is somebody that you have dealt with before that also may have a tendency possibly to exhibit Piscean um, placements. Cancer and Pisces out of the three water signs are the closest. Scorpio is a little lot on their own department over. They just, we, Cancer and Pisces just kind of lets them do their own thing. But this here shows a Cancerian that you make very happy that wants to make an equal offer to you. I do see this as something that goes back because of how I tie this as a minor arcana Gemini card, which shows there's a Cancerian thinking about you. Then we've got this Aries energy. This Aries energy with the way this card comes out here of the Fool, where he's taking a roll of the dice and you got snake eyes up there with that little rat, like the year of the rat. I don't know why I thought of that, but I'm thinking Chinese Zodiac, year of the rat. Maybe that's an Aries and that's his birth year or her birth year, that sort of a thing. This I see as a new energy because oftentimes, if you think about it, Gemini's don't interact with Aries that much. I am not sure as to why yet. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me Gemini why. But that's what I do see. Not a lot of Gemini Aries interaction. This might be that roll of the dice coming in, Gemini, that an Aries enters your life. Somebody new, somebody a little different. And it gives you a little more of this edge feeling like like a positive, like living on the edge type of thing. I hear Aerosmith coming into another A word, but <clears throat> maybe a musical connection. You meet this Aries through music and um, they wind up making an offer right there that they want to take a chance with you. This might be like a meeting for coffee or, or they buy your coffee or just going to a lunch. It, and it could be something that's in your life that you would least expect. Let's say it's like a coworker, the one coworker that never talks. Or it's the person at the checkout at Target, something like that. But there's an Aries thinking about you and wanting to uh, want to come in with an offer. Speaking of the Cancer Pisces thing going on over here, you've got a Piscean that's looking at you, and they're kind of stuck in their own energy about making an effort or coming forward with this. I see this as a past person in a new energy that you and a Pisces had a had a situation that came up, be it a fight or be it uh, a clinginess. Something that caused you two to part ways and the Pisces ghosted you. You're not sure exactly what happened or why, but they went quiet. But actually, they've been doing a lot of work. See that little halo around his head and getting ready to the point that they're ready to come down. Notice how the way his leg is hanging out. He's already got one leg out of that butt blanket and wants to come in and just drop the other one. And it already almost looks like he's, he's um, repelling down. <clears throat> like going downward, even though the motion in the artwork behind it looks like downward motion, like getting ready to come down to the ground so he can step out of the blanket and come forward. So he or she, no gender in tarot, there's a Pisces that has been very Casper and is getting, I, I don't understand why people go ghost. Why they can't just talk, you know, seriously. Are people scared of saying no? I mean, ghosting is way worse because then you got to think about it more, right? But this, this one here, Casper's getting, um, somebody got a defibrillator out and they're throwing 440 volts right into the Pisces. And uh, they might actually wake up and come out of that butt blanket. We'll see where it goes. Then you've got, then you've got a Libra. Now this is Air Air, which I happen to love Air Air connections because Libra understands how Gemini's love language works. The air signs get it. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius never get scared of sword energy because they are sword energy. You ever seen a Cancer get scared of a cup? You ever seen a Scorpio get scared of anything, you know, same with Taurus and Earth. I mean, I could see an Earth sign that sits there and says, "Ooh, wow, ooh, Earth, cups, mud, yuck, that sort of thing. But you guys understand it. So this is a connection that comes in very balanced. It's, it's literally Libra embracing their own energy and a connection between you and them where the, you guys communicate on a different level. I see a lot of inside jokes, a lot of those little mm, smirky looking things going on. And this one here, this Libra, the coloring is very lively. The blues and the oranges in the background. And her earring is a key. This Libra coming into your life holds a key to something. I see the Libra or possibly the Pisces going long term. The Libra seems very confident in their decision because they're coming in with the key. The Cancer energy looks pretty good. The Taurus is definitely watching you. And this Aries is just hot to trot, yo. This Aries is really curious about something. So you got some multiple offers coming in your way. You uh, Keeping your phone nearby to the point of being like, Archer, man, it doesn't stop going off. I need a break. That sort of a thing. Because these people's eyes are on you. You've got, you got at least three out of these five signs that you've dealt with already. And then you've got two that are showing up brand spanking new.
somebody you're going to meet. So let's grab some clarifiers and see what's up with each of these knights of swords since they all want to dive bomb in under this new moon energy. Mm, oh, four swords, more air. Under, the, under this new moon energy that they're going to swoop in like this owl and uh, and just kind of swoop you up. They uh, they decided to click buy it now, I think. It's just whoever, maybe it's like eBay and it's like the auction happened. You got offers coming in and they're all knight of swords style. The Aries is like, mm, now. The Libra is like, mm, now. I mean, you got more water in the Titanic swimming pool between Cancer and Pisces. Meanwhile, Taurus is just hanging out over here being like, dude, I totally just heard Pitbull. Dolly, I know you want me. That thing. So there, dude, the Taurus has got a little chip on their shoulders. Okay. That's all right. It's confidence. We can work with that. Confidence can be worked with. Then you just got a Cancer that all they know how to do is smile. But that's because you make them smile. Then you got the Pisces that's like wallpaper. You can't get a read off of a Pisces. You know how that is. They got mad that they had to take the uh, moon. The moon card really ticked them off, but we worked it out. All right, clarifying it. Oh, sweet, dude. Clarifying it. More Aries energy. I told you Aries is trying to take the reading over. Three of Wands, the time is right for this to happen. The energies with Mercury going direct finally happening. The energies and the time is in play for you to move forward to get to your Four of Wands wish. Your Taurus. Whoa, a Taurus-Aries connection. Maybe this is the Taurus side with an Aries moon or an Aries with a Taurian placement, and they're coming in with this ram-like fool energy, but doing it very grounded and stable. The Taurus is hanging in there. They see a new beginning with you, or they may have Aries placements. And Ace of Wands, more Aries energy. Okay, Gemini, the Taurus card is completely clarified by straight-up Aries energy. So there is a weird Aries-Taurus thing going on. So you have a Taurus, Gemini, that wants to make a new beginning with you. I have the feeling that this Taurus and this Aries are the same person. That's interesting. That's interesting. I can't wait to see what we pull here. Yeah, the Taurus is ready to come forward because they're focused on those Gemini-looking trees in the picture there with their nose ring. And that nose ring is like Toro Toro with this boom boom stick, Ace of Wands. So the Taurus just flat out thinks you're hot. They might not have said it, but they've got passion for this new beginning with you and it's hardcore Aries energy. So ram on with the Taurus. That's wild. Now, your Cancer, who knows the time is right, this Cancerian who decides they want to play Pisces sometimes, much like how Cancer and Pisces share the Moon card. They share the High Priestess card. What else do they share? What else are they dealing with? They're dealing with six swords. Cancer's putting away some past stuff to walk away from it, but they're spying on you. They're using all the science and all the energy they got to try to figure out where their Nine of Cups is at. Told you you make them happy, Gemini. They see a Nine of Cups happiness with you, but they feel like they can't approach. The Cancer smiles at you behind your back, that sort of thing. The Six of Swords shows that they kind of realize where this is at, but they don't know how to achieve to it. So there's interference. It's a flag on the play. But they see you very happy, and they're using every skill they got. Very intuitive sign. Cancers are, are hardcore like that, where they can pick up energies without even needing these things. And, and trying to do the work, because they know there's Nine of Cups there with you, but they don't quite know how to approach yet or they just walk backwards i don't know now this aries energy which i suspect is taurus bleeding over here i really don't know if it's an aries let's find out i got the moon i got the moon pisces energy aries to pisces the entire whole freaking circle the zodiac begins with aries and ends with pisces there's a secret being kept here and i suspect that's what it is what if the taurus has a fake account so that they can spy on you They've got a fake account that exhibits Aries energy. I'm still going with Aries to, Pi Aries to Taurus placements. And they are keeping some secrets and doing some work underneath this moon energy right there that is manifesting in this beginning. They're trying to come at you from a different perspective. I swear to God, I think that's the same person. Totally. And dude, and they, they get that. They understand how their intuition works. And they're using some serious energies with the new and the full moon. And this is a new moon, moon card right there. I've been going, uh, dude, in the connection to that, the new moon happening with Mercury going direct and all that Aquarius energy is going to dominate you. You're going to feel it really wild. It's going to energize you, not in a negative way. This new moon is going to make you feel very positive and want to take this fool energy. That's the bottom of the deck. By the way, Queen of Pentacles is the next card. That's probably why I had to do that. This Taurus is showing up everywhere, dude. This Taurus is freaking everywhere stalking you. All right, let's see. Seven of Cups, choices and options right there. You're taking too long. You're taking too long. Taurus suspected Aries looking at me, staring me down like that, being like, Archer, don't give it away. Don't give it away that I'm really the Taurus. You're supposed to, you're supposed to work with that. 
So no, no, no. This is the options coming in and showing up that they had. They're t they've taken too long to decide. They keep coming up with reasons like, oh, I can't today because the moon's in a waxing gibbous and that's going to mess it up. Oh, I can't today because I forgot I have to. I have to go through and clean out my email, the spam folder. They they're coming up with the weirdest options and coming in in this like you don't even like expect it coming. You know, they're going to show up like over off to the side and be like, hi, hi there. That's it, because you also don't suspect it's them. I still see a fake account. I could even see multiple fake accounts with options right there. All of a sudden, did you get a bunch of weird phone calls or, or numbers you don't recognize, Colin? How many vehicles do you got with extended warranties, right? Anyways, somebody's, somebody's faking something. They're hiding something with this moon energy. You got a Taurus really on your case. You got a Pisces, and you got a Cancer that are trying to flood you, too. You're right there. A lot of energy because you made the Cancer happy. What about the Pisces? This Pisces energy, well, yeah, <clears throat> water with air on the play. They both are focused on you. But the Pisces is straight up getting downloaded interference. There's, there's literally multiple streams, multiple downloads. Pisces are the most intuitive sign. They're the ones right there and connected at the door. So this, this Pisces is picking up a lot of downloads. They can't sleep. They're up at night trying to focus on this. They're having dreams about you. They're trying to zen out and not let it show. They're staying hangman about this. They're not letting it come through with the chariot did i not mention the come through this is the interference they're getting ready to get in the car and come to you this pisces the pisces dude these the clarifiers are clarifying into the base cards the pisces energy is the moon here's the chariot for your cancer so your water is a crisscross you've got an energetical crisscross with the two deepest intuitive signs in the zodiac you're in trouble i quit no i'm just kidding but dude the pisces is finally They've gotten so many dreams about you where you make them happy. So much interference. So many flags on the plate, Gemini, that they've got no choice but to put on the gas. They know they're going to crash. They're always on the go. They can't say no, but they're stuck loving you, and they're coming your way. And this year is the year of the chariot. 2023 numerologically breaks down to a seven. Yeah, chariot. So there's a water sign coming right your way, and you make them extremely happy. The water signs are just focused on love with you. Meanwhile, the air sign is Libra. Look at this Libra looking at you with a five of wands. They're struggling about this decision. They hold the key, but they don't know how to come in and approach you with it. They're fighting to get to that six of wands victory. There's something in their throat chakra stopping them and stopping this from happening. I could see it. See how their eyes, see how their eyes closed? Well, no, it's, it's open, but there's no pupil or it's closed. I don't have my glasses on. I don't know. Either way, there's no pupil there. So there's something that they're being blind to, scales of justice. Oh, I think I want to go forward six of wands. Oh, I'm not sure five of wands. But no, I, I do love Gemini, but I'm not sure if I love Gemini. I'll think about it some more. They're one wand away. They're trying to set up that tent so they can have you over because they've got the key. And here's the king of pentacles. So we've got a Libra with some earth placements that they're leveling up to hit that six of wands to come in with a stable offer for you. And they hold that key. I see it as long term. Look at that. Dressed up, looking good, and ready to come forward. And Libra's, Libra's no style. So... You got a good looking Libra coming your way and they hold the key. You got a happy Pisces that is just flying towards you once they rip that freaking butt blanket out. This Eight of Swords is telling them, Gemini's your answer. The Aries, the Taurus is masquerading as an Aries over here underneath this moon. They're using moon energy too, the Taurus is. And then you've got the Cancer over here that's that's that, that's just, just staring because they know you make them happy, but they're the boat's wandering away. They're using everything they got though for it because they've got two cups. One for you, one for them. So... This is some interesting stuff, and the time is right. All the planets are going direct. Stuff is starting to balance out up there, and it's going to start to finally come down here. Aquarius season should be quite interesting for you. I love you very much, Gemini. This is some awesomeness. Leave in the comments. Let me know which one of these signs you're dealing with and where it may possibly go. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and join me here every Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for a live all signs from Aries to Pisces. Tarot and chill with yours truly for a minute in my crab shell. Yeah, it's nice. Right there. And don't forget, April 1st and April 2nd, I will be live in person for Archer's first ever meet and greet sponsored by Flickers, Gifts, Crystals, and Inspirational Shop in Hamburg, New York on Buffalo Street. Follow their Instagram at Flicker Gifts, their Facebook at Flickr Gift Shop, and then my community posts here as well as my Instagram at Archer M. Archer, what, what is my Instagram? It's Archer Astrology MD. I had to put an MD because somebody else actually had Archer Astrology. You, you, right? I'll find them. Anyways, but follow along all those places to 
keep up with the news, the info. We're going to be giving away tarot decks, doing readings. There's going to be special sales in the store. And you can come on the channel with me. Even We're going to do personal readings live if you would like to. So it's going to be a blast. April 1st and April 2nd, Hamburg, New York. Be there. And until then, I'll see you for your next reading or at the Live All Signs. I love you, Gemini. You rock. Yeah, cheers. Peace.